Skip Bayless, Kerry Champion. I'm not joking. I would fire everybody. <laughs> and I sincerely mean this. I would not, I would not have allowed Mark Tressman to leave the stadium last night as an employee. I would not have allowed him on a team plane. I would have made sure he had to pay his own flight home. A matter of fact, I think I would have done the same for the players. You make enough money, find a flight. Rent a car. National labor's hurts, they all do good deals. Let me tell you something, man. It was an atrocity last night. 42 to nothing in the first half. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the National Football League. The Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears. This one story franchise has been outscored in the first half of the last two games, 80 to seven. They are an abomination. They are a disgrace. And as far as I'm concerned, nobody, uh, Phil Emery, gone, general manager, got to go. You sold your soul. It's one thing to let go of Lovey Smith, because remember, I was right on this show, and I said that Lovey Smith needed to go three playoff appearances in nine years, even though one of them was a Super Bowl berth. I never once said he shouldn't be a head coach again. again. But I do believe, Skip, that there comes a point in time when your time is up. It doesn't mean you can't coach. It doesn't mean you can't do Even though that year they went 10-6. and, six. Six and I'm just saying five. that it comes a point in time. You knew what the mandate was, and you didn't make the playoffs, period. But there comes a point in time where it's not about your ability. It's just that there's a time you need to go because you need to go somewhere else because there needs to be a different voice. This is not that case. It's a level of incompetence that's incredibly alarming. You look at Tressman and his coaching staff, they seem completely clueless. And you look at this organization.